Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to download, install and use Avogadro. We are now in the page for the old Avogadro. So if we try to download here, we are going to download Avogadro 1.2. So this is not the version that we want. We want to download the newest version, which is called Avogadro 2. For this, we have to find the new Avogadro 2 development website. And this will take us to a new link that is 2.avogadro.cc. Here we go to install and we have several options. Now I'm going to download the installer for Windows, the current stable version 1.99.0. So after the installer has been downloaded, I will open it. So I will go ahead and click uh, run anyway, because I trust the developers, hopefully. So I click, I agree. Then I click uh, add Avogadro 2 in the system path for all users. Then next a couple of times and install. Then I press finish and it's done. In the start menu, I open the Avogadro 2 icon and this should launch. There are several different icons for building templates, manipulating the bonds, manipulating the molecules, selecting molecules. Those are different options that we are going to use while building a molecule. So we are going to go to build, insert, molecule, and I'm going to choose some base molecule to draw on. And I'm going to choose a porphyrin because that's the kind of molecules that I like. There are many different options, aromatics, a lot of things can be used. So here in macrocycles, I'm going to choose porphyrin, which is the base porphyrin. And I'm going to press insert. So now I'm going to select a benzene molecule and I'm going to insert it and I'm going to move it around. I have already a hydrogen selected, so basically the, the two are moving around, but this doesn't matter now. So if I go to selection and click outside the molecule, I will deselect and then I will delete the two hydrogens. Then I go to the drawing icon and I will draw a bond between the two carbons. I haven't found another way to do that. One thing I don't like is how to manipulate a group of atoms. I find it very confusing. It seems to move the other way in which I move the mouse. So this is something that compared to ChemCraft is quite annoying, but probably I need much more practice with this program. I am more or less able to align the phenyl group in the way I want it, but it's not perfect and I don't know how to actually control the bond angles. So, but we're going to see that there's an easier way to fix these kind of things in Avogadro. I will insert two more phenyl groups as benzene molecules. So one at a time, I will move it around so that it goes near the carbon where I want to attach it. I'm going to add now the second molecule. I move both of them to the side, then I deselect them and select each of them separately. I delete the hydrogens on each of them and I draw a bond between the carbons. I do the same for the other phenyl group and I draw the bond between them. I select one of the phenyl groups and I move it with the manipulation tool so that it is closer. I do that for the other molecule as well. We can see here that the molecules are really misaligned and it's not easy to rotate them and move them the way we want. But if we go to extensions, 
optimized geometry, we can see that the geometry gets optimized really fast and we don't need to actually fix all the bond lengths and angles manually. This is a very powerful feature that Avogadro has that, for example, ChemCraft doesn't have. This is very useful for building complicated molecules. So now I'm going to save the structure of this molecule as triphenyl porphyrin. And I'm going to show you how to make an ORCA input file from this structure. So we go to input, ORCA, and then we can choose different options. So I changed the name of the input file. I choose different number of processor cores. I choose geometry optimization. And I choose my favorite function, which is PB0 and Dev2 SPP basis set because it's a more or less large molecule. If I change the memory that's in gigabytes, we can see that the max core number is adjusted. So basically, the total memory is divided by the number of processor cores. I tick the print molecular orbitals option because that's what we need to then plot the orbitals and see them in Avogadro. I will choose acetonitrile as pseudo solvent and I'm going to choose the SMD solvation option and you can see that all these options are written to the input file. There are other options that we can choose, for example the RIJ cosex approximation. Many of these are not necessary in a ORCA 6 because they are already assumed. Here is the whole input file. We can also set up molecular dynamics simulations, but I'm not going to do this in this video. I'm going to save the input file in a folder. So as triphenyl porphyrin pv0 spp.imp. So now I'll close the window and then this is all for now. I think the molecule looks really nice. Maybe in a future video I will compare how fast I can make a molecule in Avogadro and Chemcraft. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a particular molecules that I can show you how to draw. So this is all for now. Thank you very much.